Hello, uh, welcome to this tutorial on circle theorems. This is something I'm hoping to do more videos on because there's so many different types of questions, big variety of how difficult they can be, which circle theorems they can use in combinations with other rules, other geometric rules. So they're well worth doing. You might want to pause it and have a look at this question. Okay, well, this question is thanks to uh, Pixel Maths. It's from their grade nine booklet. Brilliant booklets from Pixel Maths, these are. Let's have a look at this one. Now, we see we have tangents here. Now, one important thing about the tangent is this. The main thing is they meet the circle at 90 degrees. So you want to be putting those there. So you know that's a right angle. So this is 86, 90, 90. And we have here, I'm just showing you with my pen, a kite. Now, this, the angles in that kite must all add up to 360 degrees because it's a quadrilateral. So you've got your 90 degrees plus your 90 degrees plus 86 degrees plus, of course, 94 degrees equals 360 degrees in your kite. So that angle there is 94 degrees. And recognizing a, an isosceles triangle is crucial. There you've got two angles, the same, X and X, because you often find triangles where they use the radius now, the radii there are the same, of course. So this is an isosceles triangle. So X, you've got 94 degrees, add X, add X equals 180 degrees. 2X will equal 86, and X, therefore, is 40 three degrees. Just a really crucial point. The diagram is not drawn accurately. It'd be very easy to be thrown off by the look of it because that doesn't really look like 43 degrees. Do not be put off by diagrams in this question. Let's look at one more question which has a few more parts to it. So here we go. We've got a circle with a big quadrilateral in. And then we've got something here, which we're going to use. Looks a little bit like an off-center delta. So work out the value of X. So hopefully you'll see this relationship here. The angle at the center is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. So we can say X equals 140 degrees. And just simply phrase that as the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Really try to answer these clearly, these explanations, because we probably know them. We could probably express them fairly clearly and we don't want to be losing those marks. If you know your circle theorems, you probably have a good chance of getting these marks. Well, what about Y? Well, look on the outside, you've got that nice cyclic quadrilateral. Opposite angles in the cyclic quadrilateral add up to three, uh, 180, of course. It's one of your key rules, spotting those rules, being able to use them, that's what's being assessed here. So Y is 110. 110 and 70 gives you 180. And 
just quote the rule, which I'm sure you've learned from your lessons. Opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. Well, I hope that's clear. We've got this one here, which was using the tangents, the 90 degrees and the isosceles triangle. Big themes those are from what I've seen in many GCSE questions. And here you've got the angle at the center being twice the angle at the circumference and your opposite angles in the cyclic quadrilateral. Hope that's clear. I'm hoping to do more of these because there are so many questions. Get yourself practice in these, use pixel maths, use Corbett maths, there's plenty out there for you to practice. Good luck.